Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everybody's having a good, good morning. Starting off your morning, as, as I should say. Right now, I'm on my way, basically. I'm gonna go, oh, if you guys see me, yes, I'm wearing the same sweater, I'm wearing the same chain, whatever it is. Um, this sweater is kind of one of my favorites right now. It's super comfortable, and it doesn't get stuck on my skin so much, I don't know. Since I'm kind of like a big dude, the the shirts the hoodies tend to be like all tight but this one like loose fit so i like it so that's why i wear it a lot my wife's like you have all those sweaters and you wear the same one all the time yeah because i like it and it's comfortable simple as that i'm the type of person that if i have a hoodie i'm gonna wear it no matter how many times and i don't care what people say you know but guys yeah right now it's really 628 um just want to keep you guys informed keep you guys in the loop of what's going on with me right now um nothing bad but as you guys know I'm, I'm i am searching for a job and this and that right so i'm looking for a new job um something not so heavy on my back something pretty good that pays well monday through friday um so yeah guys with that being said I went ahead, damn, they crashed into this lady's house. Oh, snap. So yeah, guys, with that being said, as you guys know, I'm always on Craigslist. I'm always on Indeed looking for a job, right? For the next gig that I could do. Keep in mind, guys, I have gotten some good offers from big companies. But I don't see myself working for a big company as of right now. Um, I have, I, I, I never did, I never did, um, so yeah, so, I reached out to a contractor, you guys are gonna be like, again? Yeah, so I reached out to a contractor, guys, um, for FedEx Ground, and, um, uh, seems to me that, you know, I'm gonna go back to FedEx as a delivery driver. So, uh, I'm gonna go right now. We're on our way right now to McDonald's. To get a coffee, of course. Remember, go to McDonald's, guys. You guys could get, don't go to Starbucks, don't go to Windchills, don't go to Dunkin' Donuts. Go to McDonald's, get yourself a half, get the app, first of all, get the app. Get yourself half off of McCafe, uh, Camel Frappe, a regular coffee, iced coffee, 50% off, man. The, that uh, discount code that they give you, it's all week, all month, all year long. 50% off any drink that you want, any size. So that's where I go. Um, I go because it's cheap. It doesn't hurt my pockets that, that much as in a five, six dollar coffee, which is gonna, it's just pure sugar to me. Because right now, to be honest, all the Starbucks drinks, they're just sugar. They're not even coffee anymore. The coffee that I really, really, really like is a, is a coffee from McDonald's. The hot one, the regular one, bomb. For some reason, it has this unique taste. I don't know if you guys have tasted it or not, but you guys should go try it. I always give me a large. Back then, I feel like they used to have like an extra large cup, but now it's just a regular large. I don't know. I'm I'm a I'm a coffee per, um, person, and if I don't drink coffee in the morning, my head starts hurting. Uh, or sometimes I, I I I switch it out. I drink a coffee in the morning, or. Um, if I don't drink a coffee in the morning, I go ahead and buy me a, 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 a monster, a monster energy drink. But yeah, guys, so we worked out a deal with this contractor Monday through Friday. Um, I'm not going to say what specific location, but just know that it's Monday through Friday. Um, pay rate is $20 an hour, 40 to 55 hours a week, which is not bad. And uh, full uniforms, a Kaiser benefits after 60 days which is cool and um yeah it's nothing that i'm tied down to you know because to be honest i've been in fedex and if you guys might, might know i used to be a fedex delivery driver but i used to work out from sun valley so every morning i used to drive off to sun valley every morning since fresh out of high school i joined fedex as a, as a delivery driver but i was working for a third-party contractor i liked it but it was just, you know, more opportunities came my way and um, I went ahead and took them. But I should have just stayed for FedEx because 
it's just retarded, you know? But yeah, guys, long story short, right now we're on our way to McDonald's. After from McDonald's, I'm gonna take off to Reliant Urgent Care. That's where I'm gonna be taking my uh, urine exam. So I could test for like drugs or whatever it is that they wanna test me for. And I'm still kinda sick. Yesterday was hot. Yesterday was super hot. Right now I have a stuffy nose. Uh, yesterday was super, super, super hot at night, man. I showered, turned on the AC, and I just laid down like an iguana. I let nothing forget that. I just, I just laid down and just, oh, you know, I wasn't really, really tripping. When I woke up this morning, I had a stuffy ass nose again. But keep in mind, my my stuffy nose had went away yesterday, like around twelve. I, I didn't have it anymore midday. But sorry if I'm looking a little bit rough right now. I have my haircut appointment tomorrow at what is it? Two no three thirty tomorrow at three thirty. I have my haircut appointment with my boy Butters and Riddle at Presidential Barber Lounge. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so yeah, I just want to keep you guys informed of what I'm doing. And keep in mind, I'm just doing this doing FedEx for extra income because I am trying to buy more units. But the thing is, if you guys all know, the unit prices are going higher and higher and higher, man. It just gets crazy right now. I don't know why the hell it gets so high. Like, I'm not saying COVID is over, but it's just like, like, what the hell? I'm seeing more people getting more merchandise, but it's just, I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. Why everything's just so, so high. But, yeah, so now I'm going to be doing like that guy, uh, my boy, uh, Puerto Rican Hammer. I'm going to be doing vlogs of FedEx when I'm going out to deliver, when I'm loading my truck. You know, a day in a life as a FedEx delivery driver. Boom! Easy, you know? More subscribers, hopefully. Uh, like I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to make YouTube my full-time, if possible, I'm trying to make YouTube my full-time job in the near future, not right now, because right now we only have like 2,146 subscribers. But I mean, if you guys still give me to 5K, it'll, I know my numbers will be, you know, my, my pay, my incentives, it'll, it'll be up here. But, um, you know, I know it's a process. I know it's a waiting process, but hopefully I, I get there. Hopefully everything goes good. My content is good and um, you guys enjoy it. And you guys keep watching my videos and doing what you guys do, liking, subscribing, leave me a comment down below, follow my, follow my Instagram. You know, all that all that little stuff helps. And like I'm telling you guys, I'm not asking you guys for money, I'm not asking you guys for anything. Just a quick click to subscribe. Doesn't it, it doesn't hurt your pockets, you know? It's just click, subscribe, and watch my videos. Even though if sometimes you feel like my videos, you know, are boring or whatever, just let them play. Just let them play, let them play, let them play. You know? But uh so McDonald's is right here. To the McDonald's that I come to uh, Sometimes it's the one right here on what is it? Mari Marbrisa, Marbrisa Avenue, and Florence, right? I come to this one because sometimes it's not packed, but sometimes it is super packed. This time I'm not even gonna come to this one. No, it's super packed. I'm just gonna go to another one down the street. But yeah, guys, I'm trying to vlog for you guys every single day, just so you guys can see that I'm consistent with my videos. Just so you guys can see that I really do care about you guys. That I'm trying to bring you guys new content. Uh, all I need from you guys is just basically just to leave a comment down below. And um, just say, hey Junior, can you do a video of this? Or Junior, can you do a video of that? I want to do um, food vlogs. Like uh, like my boy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mexi Papa, I think it was. I, I watch all his videos, man. They're freaking cool. You know, he goes out to different states, different cities. Um, and just tries out. Food, 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 man. Who is my favorite one that he does? And it's the tacos, and it's out here in Compton, the, the birria spots. Oh my God, it's just, I'm, I fell in love. So let me know if you guys are interested in me doing food vlogs. Um, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, it'll be a little bit expensive because I'm telling you, I'll, I'll go with all my family, we'll all go eat. And if you guys want, you guys could go ahead and donate for that. You guys can go ahead and donate and be like, hey Junior, I want you guys to go try out um, Teddy's Red Tacos. Or I want you guys to go try out uh, what is it? Birria Gonzalez. Or hey Junior, I want you to go try out a Bionico spot. 
or can you go try out this Michoacana? Or can you go try out the El Paraíso? Can you go try out uh, El Pescador? Or can you go try out this or that? You know, there's a lot of good restaurants out, out, out here in LA. Uh, hey, Junior, can you go try out the Happy? Hey, Junior, can you go try out this? You know, I'm gonna leave my cash app down below. Just if you guys want to go ahead and, you know, tip a little something or give a little something, it doesn't hurt. Um, like I'm telling you guys, if you guys want me to do it, I'm down to do it. I'm excited to do it. I love to eat. I'm a big boy. So, yeah, it's totally up to you guys. It, like, like I'm telling you, basically, I'm working for you guys. So whatever you guys need, whatever you guys want, you know, as long as you guys supply the cash, I'll do it. Adrian, go on, go on a ride in Six Flags. No, I won't do that one. I'm scared of, I'm scared of rides. You know, this McDonald's is empty. I think this one is on Mountain View and Florence. This one's empty. This, that, that's the way I like to see it. But yeah, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and order my food and I'll get back with you guys. Not, not food, just a coffee, but let me get back to you guys. I'm about to order my coffee. 50% off, guys. 50% off coffee. McDonald's, you guys have seen this? Make sure you guys sponsor it, boy. Yeah, boy. I was undecisive on what to get. So... I was gonna get a hot coffee. Yeah, it's a cold morning. But I just decided to get a caramel frappe. Something similar to uh, the, what is it? Starbucks caramel frappuccino. This is a caramel frappe. It was 425 total, but with the 50% off that they give you on the app, it's 220. So, Two dollars and twenty cents, guys. Not bad. Oh, delicious. So yeah, we have our coffee ready to start our day. And uh, some guys will be like, "Man, you're cheap as or you're this." And right now is the time to save, man. Right now is not the sign, not the time to go buck wild and spend your money on on coffee. You know, I mean, two dollars is not bad. I'd rather spend two dollars and twenty cents than than six dollars, seven dollars on a on a damn coffee that I'm gonna go ahead and drink anyways. So why not? But yeah, so right now we're on our, on our way to Reliant Medical Center. Wow, I'm about to hit this idiot, man. This is good, man. So right now we're on our way to Reliant Medical Center, and um, yeah, just to go get a fast drug exam. Right here, I think it's on Pacific and Slauson, right in the corner, guys. I think there's a McDonald's across the street, if I'm not mistaken, too. I think my sister's going to have McDonald's. I think there's a McDonald's. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what is your favorite coffee to drink. I've gone to, um, what is it called? It's something tea house, greenhouse. Um, I think it's like a Filipino, I don't know what it is, Thai. Thailandia, I don't know what it is, but mm, oh, seven leaves. Sheesh, that house coffee. That oh my god, that crap is strong. I mean, I love coffee. Coffee's oh my god, but that coffee at the at seven leaves is something else, guys. I was like, what the hell? Me and my wife, we went. I think to the one in Downey, seven leaves in Downey. The coffee's really good. You know the the iced coffees. It was something else. Oh my boy, Julio's gonna get there today as, as well. I'm gonna let him borrow some tables and chairs today. 110 chairs. He texted me last night that he couldn't make it last night, so he was gonna come today and pick up the chairs. Since I didn't want to go do the, his delivery, it was just too far in Rancho Cucamonga. It's like a 45 minute drive. Huh? I'll let him do it, make his little side money. Anyways, that's another thing, guys. Something that I, I, like Julio, I trust this dude. Um, he, <laughs> I should, I should have him named on my, on my phone as a great wall of Guatemala. He knows why. Man, this one made me laugh. Julio's a, a really badass dude. You know, I like Julio. Um, me and him became cool friends. And yeah, Julio, Julio's Julio. Julio has a big heart. I'll tell you guys that Julio has a big heart. If you guys want to go ahead and follow my, follow my boy Julio. Make sure you guys go look in the description down below, and I'm gonna have his Instagram link. Julio, he does a lot of party rental stuff. He does backdrops. He does big old tents. He does uh, what is it? Cocktail tables, round tables, 
all types of chairs um that wooden chairs uh regular chairs everything julio does a little bit of everything julio's a big ass hustler he works for at&t and he's the one that got me my my phones thank god because without julio i wouldn't have never been approved to get new phones for me and my wife um so yeah julio works at at&t and he still does his hustle with uh the party rental which is amazing guys that's how you know when somebody's a true hustler when they actually have a full-time job and when they also um you know have their the, a, a side business you know that's how you know when somebody's a, a real 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 hustler but we are already arriving at our destination guys i'm gonna go ahead sign some paperwork maybe maybe vlog a little bit in there just record of how empty or how full the clinic is and um, I'll, I'll come back out and i'll talk to you guys again but hopefully i'm not boring you guys and you know i don't bore you guys off i'm just talking talking and talking I don't know what else to say. I want to be the same for you guys. I want to sing some corridos. Some, I mean, you want to see me dance some bachata or something. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But we have already arrived at our destination. Something about me, if you guys haven't noticed, I like parking back in first. Um, Just because you just never know. So if I got to get out of the situation, get out of a spot, parking spot fast, I just drive off. You know? Especially how it is right now in the streets. People are getting jacked. People are getting this. People are getting beat up. So if I'm in that certain situation, I'm just gone. Hop in my car. And <laughs> gone. But they don't open until 7, 646. But let me go ahead and check my emails and see if I have an email from my contractor. And I'll go ahead and talk to you guys right now. Where I'm at, guys. Relying Urgent Care. Occupational Medical Center, right? It's, the McDonald's is right there. I should have gone to that one but I forgot. It's literally on Slauson and Pacific. So you just come in right there. This is where they'll send you to come and get a, a drug test, a DOT physical, and everything else. Well, if you live around over here where I live at, in South LA. So guys, I'm already done. Thank God everything went fast. Here was just one lady in front of me, but I guess she just wanted test results. I guess they came and did some type of test for her. That's good. That's the only thing I hate about wearing masks is that my beard gets all tangly and ugly and yeah. But yep. Right now we're on our way back home. I'm gonna go meet up with my boy Julio in a bit. I haven't seen my boy in a while since he just had a baby. Congrats my boy. A nice baby boy. That's right. But yeah, guys. So right now I'm by La Curacao. Right here in Pacific. If you guys know South LA, I'm sure you guys back back in the days used to come with your mama and come and get some TVs, muebles, bed frames, all types of crazy stuff from La Curacao. Um, but yeah. Super, super, super excited to start working again. Because, I mean, that extra cash that I was making... You know, it's it, it, it's hurting the savings right now. It, I, I'm, a, you know, I'm going to be honest. And it is hurting the pockets and it's hurting the savings because just having one income and um, just two units isn't enough. I need to get myself at least six to eight units, man. But I don't think that's going to be any time this year just because I'm saving up for something else. You know, I'm, I, I've, I've always said I'm saving up to buy my house. So that's what I want to do. I want to buy my house, but not around here. If possible, I would like to Riverside, Moreno Valley, somewhere in the valley. I want to go somewhere out there. I don't want to buy a house right here in the city of LA. It's too expensive, guys. And for your money, you don't you don't get a house. Basically, you're, you don't even get no privacy. Right here, your neighbors are like literally next to each other. And I want to be like, well, at least like, couple feet away from my neighbor's house or whatever it is right here where i live at is like literally you just walk out the gate and you're in somebody else's house and i'm trying to, i'm trying to leave kind of far trying to have my kids in a different environment something that my kids love is animals so if i if i'll be able to qualify for a house but like a ranch type man it'll make my dream come true but that's why you guys see me doing what i do and do my party rental looking for looking for a full-time job Monday through Friday and still doing my YouTube 
one of these three have to blow up guys one of these three if it's not my job it might be my youtube if it's not my youtube it might be my side hustle so one of one of those two have to go ahead and blow up and by then you know i have to wait see which one does and for my youtube i wish it, it would be my youtube because that way i'm more at home with my kids spending more time with them basically doing things that my parents didn't do with me because my our parents um well my parents they were always working they were always trying to get us brand new electronics nice clothes uh back then if you guys don't know there was like a jc Penney's. instead of uh home depot there was a all-american so they used to you know we used to we used to have i'm not saying that my that we were rich but we were wealthy you know and just because my parents were trying to give us everything they wouldn't be home with us they wouldn't spend time with us so i'm not trying to be that type of parent you know i'm trying to be more like home with my kids um take them out explore you know take them over here take them over there and you know i felt like covid went ahead and um destroyed it for the most part for like these past two or three years because kids haven't been able to be kids like i always say and right now that i have the opportunity i have health i have not a lot of money a bit of money to spend with my kids see them happy um take them out you know see new things why not like i say guys um we only have one life so let's go ahead and, and enjoy it right and that's the whole reason why i'm why i do what i do basically like the side hustles and stuff um nobody tells me to do youtube nobody's telling me put a gun to my head hey do youtube nah i do it because i like it i do it because it comes out of my heart i do it because i like to inform you guys i do it because you know it's another type of of marketing myself out there and of showing people that there's other ways to make money instead of just having a full-time job you know you can have a full-time job but if you don't have like for the party rental you can have a full-time job but it but if you don't have the right amount of um, of units to make your side hustle a full-time job, just just stick with it, you know? I don't know if that made any sense because I'm looking at traffic and I'm talking to you guys. This is what I hate when I'm driving and I'm talking to you guys and after I get all confused. But look, like, like I always said, you can make your side hustle a full-time job. You can make your side hustle a full-time job, but you just have to have the right equipment and right amount of merchandise in order to create that you know that sounded better but yeah guys you guys know i don't do no editing i don't do none of that i'm not a big editor um i just like going raw not that way but yeah guys you know i just like putting everything out there i'm not that type of geeky squad but let me edit this this sounded stupid this sounded dumb blah, blah, blah. so uh i'm gonna end the video here if my boy Julio pulls up today, I'm going to go ahead and vlog with him. Just record him and just mess around with him a little bit. But uh, today I am going to clean the back, my backyard because it is dirty. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean it. And yeah, that's all I'm going to do today. Tomorrow's Friday. Thank God. It's payday. Yeah, all right. But guys, like I said, I'm going to leave my cash out down below. If you guys would like to, you know, give a little something here and there. Just to show appreciation. Um... If you guys want us to go eat Burger King or do something or, hey, go to the park, make a barbecue and just talk about um, how you started this or how you started that or how you and your wife met or what steps did you guys take in order for you guys to be here where you guys are at or um, what would you recommend for this? What would you want? Anything, you know, it's just I want to make this a gossip channel, basically gossip, you know, um, I want to be able to interact with you guys more. I want to go live, guys. I want to go live. I want to do like a specific live on a specific day. That way you guys could go ahead, um, talk to me, answer, like ask me questions. I'll, I'll answer live. Um, it'll be, I think it'll be fun. So let me know if you guys, if you guys think I should go live with, with you guys. And if you guys will actually go ahead and tune into my channel, ask me any type of question. Um, I'll go ahead and answer it with 100% honesty. And like I'm, like, like I'm telling you guys, if, you, if I could help you guys in answering your questions and doing what you know, any, any little thing, it makes me feel good because I'm helping other people out, people that I have never met, but you guys have shown me a lot of support, basically. 
So, uh, yeah, hopefully if Julio pulls up right now, if Julio pulls up, I'll start vlogging again. If not, I'll just end the video right here. But with that being said, guys, hope you guys all have a blessed, blessed day. Like I'm telling you, stay hustling. And another thing, spend time with your family. Spend a lot of time with your family, guys. And if you guys have the opportunity to become your own boss, do it. Don't be scared. Take that next step. Do it. And you won't regret it. So, catch you guys on the next one. Peace, you guys.